In this video, we're talking all about nesting and I'm gonna show you how to nest your footage into a sequence and how you can reverse that and unnest the sequence and get your original footage back whilst preserving the cut. So let's get into it. So first of all, what is nesting? Essentially, nesting is just grouping footage together into its own sequence. It's a way of organizing your project and making a really busy project actually really manageable. So let's say I've got these two clips, for example. If I just select everything, we'll right click, select nest. We can rename this nested sequence, but I'm not going to in this example, we'll press OK, and it's gonna turn those two video clips into one video clip, as you can see. So as you can see, it's going to turn all of those video clips into one clip, which means regardless of what we do to this clip, the original cut inside the nested sequence will stay the same. So regardless of what we do to this sequence, the cut in here and the relationship between the clips will stay the same. Now, let's say I go into that nested sequence and let's say I add loads of different cuts, I remove all of this stuff here. So I get rid of the intro and then we'll add this clip back in over here. So I've got one, two, four clips. So the first one plays, it plays again. Then we've got a new clip and this one plays again. If we go back into the original sequence, as you can see, the duration of this nested sequence has changed and that's because it's a lot shorter. So I can just pull this over to the left, pull it back over to the right. And now the nested sequence has adjusted to be the same duration as what it is inside the nested sequence. So nested sequences are great, they're really useful, but if you've nested some footage and you decided you didn't actually want to nest it, then how do you unnest footage? If we right click and go up to nest, there's no option to unnest a clip. So rather what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that nested sequence so we can reveal this here. We'll go back to our original sequence and then you want to right click on that nested sequence, go up into reveal in project, and that will link it to here. And then you just want to drag that over your footage and it's going to import all of that footage into your project. So of course, if we delete the nested sequence and if we delete the actual nested sequence itself, you can see we've still got the footage even though the nested sequence has now disappeared and the good news is because we made all of those cuts in the nested sequence and then imported the footage in like this, it's imported all of those cuts rather than importing all of the original footage. So it's preserved the edit, even though we haven't got that nested sequence anymore. And there you go. That is a quick summary of nested sequences, why they're useful and how you can nest and unnest your footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.